Hello and welcome, my name is Daniel, we're gonna do a room here on Try Hack Me today. This one is called Junior Security Analyst Intro. So play through a day in a life of a junior security analyst, the responsibilities and qualifications needed to land a role as an analyst. Alright, so <clears throat> we are tasked to do some stuff. This is not something I've been doing before, so I'm looking forward to this room. Task 1 it says, in the junior security analyst role, you will be a triage specialist. You will spend a lot of time triaging and monitoring the event logs and alerts. Mm, yeah. The responsibilities for junior analysts for tier 1 SOC analysts include monitor, investigate, 24-7. Yes, it's, uh, it's, always, it's, it's like usually called a SOC center, like security operations. Um, configure and manage the security tools, develop implement IDS intrusion detection system signatures, participate in SOC working groups, meetings, create tickets and escalate the security incident to tier two and team lead if needed. All right, so in this case, escalate doesn't mean that, me, they, they, that they wanna make it worse. They wanna give the task to other teams so tier one SOC analyst is basically the first you know that's that's gonna get the alarm and then if if we cannot solve it or if maybe it's just a false alarm that could be a possibility then you're gonna give it away to tier two or team lead the quant qualifications most common series of two years experience with security operations basic understanding of networking like the OSI model, TCP IP model, um, web stuff, and basically um, you can do, go ahead and do the introductory network room if you are like really new to networking. So scripting and programming is a skill that is just nice to have. The science certifications, I, bleh, well, I wanted this, well, no wait, this is called oh it's security yeah, I, I I read it as um you know pen test, but conscious security is um a very basic exam where you access, monitor, secure, operate, identify, analyze and respond. So I agree this is a really good certification to have if you wanna be in the role of junior security analyst or just security analyst, which is very normal job to land whenever you're new in security. All right. So, as a progress, you advance your skills as a junior security analyst. You will eventually move up to tier two and tier three, and over your secure operations SOC 3T model. And then we have this uh, picture here. It's like the tier one is monitoring network traffic, logs, works and tickets, close to the alerts perform basic investigations and mitigations. Tier two, focus on deeper investigation, analysis and remediation. Uh, proactively hunt for adversaries, monitors the results, more complex alerts. And tier three, threat hunter, works on more advanced investigations, perform advanced threat hunting and adversary research, malware reversing. So we are right here with the first one, we're tier one and our first question will be, what will your role as a junior, uh, what will be your role as a junior security analyst? So, well, two words, what will our role be? So, um, Very interesting. It will be a triage specialist. I'm gonna guess that is the answer they want me to give for this particular question. All right, so it's time to go to the next task, which is gonna be, let's see, so what exactly is a security operations center or a SOC, you know? And I do hear many people say sock. Do you mean like a sock you put in your food? Uh, no. Um, that's a very bad joke. 
<laughs> so the core function of a SARC sender is to investigate, monitor, prevent, and respond to threats in the cyber realm 24-7 or around the clock. Per McAfee, per McAfee's definition of a SARC, security operation teams are changed, charged with monitoring and protecting many assets such as intellectual property, personal data, business system, and brand integrity. As the in implementation components of a of an organization's overall cybersecurity framework, security operations teams act as a central point of collaboration in coordinated efforts to monitor, assess, and defend against cyber attacks. The number of people working in the SOC can vary depending on the size of the organization. So now we have a picture here. What is included in responsibility of the SOC? All right, so we can see this is like a an, an iterative you know work cycle with different phases and and we, we could probably you know look at it forever but I uh, take a look at it and and, and and yeah so they they kind of want to read this so preparation and prevention and <clears throat> it kind of tells us that um, a few things here we can go ahead and and, and read some of the uh, go to the links which I kind of, you know, I, I highly suggest you go ahead and do that. Um, and I guess I'm just going to click complete for now. After the investigation, section coordination takes actions. Yeah, so basically it's, it's about preparation, prevention, monitoring, investigation, response, just like we, we kind of read before. So this is like, you know, just telling the same thing again. So now we do have an, an actual task here, it seems like. We need to view a site. Uh, I think if I press, yeah, 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 we have it here. So this looks like um, um, okay. This looks like you know something they created. It looks like a Mac computer, some UL, you know, and and we have some inspect the alerts in the in the SIEM dashboard CM dashboard find the malicious IP address from the alerts make note of it and then click on the alert to proceed so i think um let's go ahead and 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 they 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 probably just tell here that, that this is the task and we need to do some stuff so yeah click the green screen button we did that what is the malicious ip address in the alert. So let's see. I'm guessing just you know <laughs> when scrolling over this, it, it says unauthorized connection attempt detected from IP address. So I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna write two two one one eight one one eight five and one five nine. That's gonna be my answer, which is correct. You know they kind of gave it away with you know the red, but it. <laughs> Maybe that is not the, you know, the baddest idea. It, it does say multiple failed attempts to log in from John Doe. And now we have a successful login, but unauthorized connection attempt that, that the, you know, yeah. To whom did you escalate the event associated with the malicious IP address? So, <clears throat> <clears throat> we would probably need to go back here and say to whom that would be the I would I would say incident responder but um, they want four letters so let's click it uh, two two one I want to try this. I'm just taking like a stroll here because I can put some input in and it does say malicious um, China mobile communication corporations this is domain name yeah it's very interesting so let's click next we shouldn't worry too much if you failed, so choose to whom you should escalate this event. Um, so we need to, to pick a name, you know, and just from the, the text we read, 
We probably need to escalate it to Will Griffin, so I'm just gonna make sure this is the guy. And I'm gonna say this is the name. And now we have, after blocking the message, I open the firewall message, the message actually for you. So let's go ahead and, and block it. Okay, I'm gonna copy paste it to one and one. 185, 159, and then block the IP. And this is the flag we're gonna get. And basically that's it. So, you know, these kind of rooms, I think on Try Hack Me, they, they do send two different kind of messages. The one that I notice is that they make it really easy for me to just sit and look and click buttons and, and basically give me the answers, you know, at my face but this is probably also how it is to be a junior security analyst because you are basically looking at some alarms some different things and you are educated to just react pretty fast and send well escalate that to another user i don't like to go escalate but you're going to send the task to another user with a higher you know better skills to investigate and stuff like that because junior is Typically, the, the, the role you're going to get if you are newly educated. But I think this is... Uh, I'm going to give this a thumbs up. I usually don't do that, you know. And, and, and someone else did it also before us. 303 went to 305. But I, I kind of think this is... Um, I guess I would like to see more of this. I would like to see more tasks, more stuff. And, and I really like the whole idea of, of defending... And, and monitoring stuff, you know, I, I wouldn't, I would probably not do it myself, but being a security analyst, just analyzing logs and stuff, that's not really for me. I'm more like the, the educator, so I would really like to stay in that field. So if you'd like to see more of this, please leave a comment below, and I'm going to try and form my stuff, uh, more stuff here on Try Hack Me about defending and, and monitoring, and, and I'm, I'm sure I'm going to find something here on Try Hack Me. They have loads of stuff, and they're going to, you know, create even more content. So, yeah, until next time, take care.